Hello everyone, and sorry to be making yet another video about this. It's so, it's so silly, but like, <laughs> I'm like, well, I should let everyone know. Um, but anyway, first of all, I'm here with, with Bedlam, my Noah Luces, and I found her the cutest thing today at, um, Walmart. I actually was looking around for toys for her because she actually collects toys, and I, I haven't been very successful, I think, well, I keep looking at Walmart, I probably should move my search to Target, because like at Walmart, I don't know if it's because of the Walmart I go to, but it's just a kind of a hot mess, uh, <laughs> like I couldn't find much of anything, and then the stuff I found was all out of order, so I didn't know what cost what, and it was just really bothering me, so I just gave up, and then, um, I, there's not many mini toys that like I I want to get mini toys that I'm kind of familiar with in a way and it, it was just the selection was a little weird and plus like this has nothing to do with it being at Walmart or anything but it's so weird what I'm willing to spend on a BJD versus what I'm willing to spend on a like off the shelf um fashion doll type thing because like some of them are are getting like up to $25 and and I think <laughs> it's not really even like BJD's versus them type of thing it's it's I cannot shake the the um fact that fashion dolls used to be so much cheaper <laughs> like I used to be able to go get a Barbie for like eight to ten dollars and clothes would be like you know a couple bucks but now I did not see that at all and it was just it was weirding me out because <laughs> like I just remember prices from when I when I was a kid and of course you should never go by that because things change all the time especially the more people want things and just you know because things just cost more it's just yeah different now but anyway, as I was looking, I did find one thing, and it is, I guess, the new Polly Pocket. Um, she came in this box, and as you can see, she's right there. She is the Chrissy doll, and she is so, look how cute she is. The only um, sad thing is, is that when I opened her nose, she had like a black smudge on her chin. The camera's not picking it up, but... She's so cute. I love her. Like, it's funny. I, I, they caught my eye and I was going to get this redhead one, but like, again, because of BJD's, like, an eye placement, like, all I could think of is she had, like, deer in the headlight stare. She was just like, and I'm like, what kind of, why would you even paint a doll's eyes to look like that? So I did not go for her. Even though she was also super cute. It was just the eyes that threw me off. But, but then I moved her aside and saw this girl in the back. And I don't know what scale she is to an MSD. Maybe you can help me out. I don't know what to compare her to. Like maybe she's like an Obitsu type thing. Because that's what I'm I'm thinking of her as. Like a, like a little Obitsu for um, Bedlam here. And she, it's the cutest thing. She actually comes with like clothes. Um, I'm trying not to have them fall out, but she comes with clothes that you can slide on and off. So she's actually wearing a different outfit than she came in. She actually came in this little purple dress. And I'm like, oh, that is awesome. She has like a little doll she can play with herself. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, I didn't mean it. Wow. <laughs> this video is even about any of this. Um, I'm just super um excited because I, f I found this little doll and I also managed to have the money to replace a book bag of mine that has been falling apart for like two years. It's been ridiculous. Um, the only reason why I replaced it is because I'm going to OhioCon next weekend and I remember distinctly last year um, taking that taking my book bag that I still have now to OhioCon and seeing that it was ripped on both sides and having to like pack strategically in it so nothing would fall out <laughs> and I was like okay so it's been a year at least that it's been like this like I get a new one so I have a new book bag and she has a new doll and and yeah I wish I'd been able to get more but I cut myself off I was like I, I gotta be done <laughs> so yeah anyway this actually is in regards to two things. One, in regards to sales, I sold the vest 
excuse me, and the Lutz, I, I'm guessing, winter event head. So those are sold. And I'm also thinking um, on maybe just keeping my Simply Divine Harley Quinn head unless someone um, shows an interest in the next couple days. Reason why is because I was hesitant to put him up for sale anyway. And I know I'm just keeping him around because I think he's like beautiful. I think it's a beautiful head. But he's not selling and I don't feel like really lowering the price. <laughs> so I'm like, well maybe I can do something with him. And, and since now I only have one floating head, which is my Tom Hiddleston head, which I'm keeping and getting a body for hopefully this year. Um, not only have, now that I only have one floating head, it feels less, um, in, not intimidating, but maybe I'll use that word, intimidating to keep him. Like, I, I don't feel so much pressure because, like, with all the floating heads I had, I was, I was feeling pressure to give bodies. And then I, I was, it made me go, you know what, I'm probably never getting this head of body. But if I only have two bodies to get, I think I can deal with that. So I might take him off sale. So just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up, I made a pun. Anyway, so that's the update on sales. And then my last update is in regards to the lovely Fairyland Tika. Um, Tika Gate, <laughs> as I called it in my head and actually put it in a video, lasted exactly one day, which is so awesome. I was um, like really, really worried. I went to bed worried last night. In fact, it kind of messed up my sleep a little bit and I know that sounds ridiculous but I couldn't help it. I was I was just worried. But I woke up this morning and um turns out that Fairyland actually had more sets to sell and my order was processed and everything was a okay. So he is going to be mine and I'm very super thankful. And I'm also very just overall thankful in regards to how my sales went, I'd like to thank anyone who, if if you're watching this and you bought for me, I'd like to thank you so much. Especially since, in the long run, I was able to put him on layaway without dipping into um, my funds, like the funds I, I have. And then I also made some money to put towards my Leak World layaway that I'd actually been... A little worried about in regards to not exactly paying for it because I was gonna pay for it no matter what but I was just worrying cuz like um, I haven't been getting overtime at work and I was like man I really should have thought that through when I put the leak world girl on layaway um, I am super happy that I did not miss out on leak my leak world mini but uh yeah I did I I was really just like worried and worried about how to to make sure that all worked out and I get to Ohio Con and, and have money to spend at Ohio Con because I was just going to take the money from that. It's not like I was going to go poof, lay away. Poof. Um, I was going to just take it from my Ohio Con money and just have way less to spend there. <laughs> but um, now I don't have to worry about that. So I'm super glad some sales went through. And I'm also glad that I just took the initiative and did it. I, I, I don't know. I feel kind of... Um, I don't mean to feel proud about it, but I kind of do, if only because it's the first, <laughs> and it's sad to say this, but it's the first responsible thing I've actually done in this hobby. <laughs> I, it's, it's not like I'm like a rampant, irresponsible person. I kind of am, but, but, uh, I, I'm not like completely ridiculously irresponsible. At least I feel I'm not. But, um, I, when it comes to getting dolls and everything like that. I, I have never really thought to really sell some things to put the money back into the hobby and from now on I am going to use that as an option because doing the sales was not as hard as I thought and um, I'm glad they're going to, to new homes and I, I don't know I just feel good about it and I I honestly think it's probably at that time where I do have a lot of dolls and the ones I have now, I just, I love them all. And, but if I get anything extra that I don't like or, you know, buy an outfit that doesn't work, buy a wig that doesn't work, 
it's probably at that time where I do what you guys have been doing, which is instead of just sitting on it and going, oh, maybe in the future, blah, 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 maybe it's at that time where I should um, take those items, sell them off, and put that money right back into the hobby to, you know, keep this from not being um, as money grabbing as it has been. So, I don't know. It, it, it is, um, I feel super happy about it. And I'm shipping everything off tomorrow. And I really hope everything arrives safe and safe and sound. And I'm going to make sure everything's insured. So <laughs> hopefully no one has anything to worry about. But I think from now on I'm going to take that route. It's it's um, been working out very well. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to update on that situation and show you her cute little doll. <laughs> I want to find more little dolls in this scale. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to find more dolls in this scale um, that have, like, clothes I can put on and off, but hopefully I do. I, I don't know. I just think it's so precious. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go take pictures of her with this doll. And, um, yeah, that is all I can think of for now. Thank you so much if you watched, and thank you so much for, um, your comments on the last video. Especially since I was super worried. So, I'm, I'm glad I, I made the video I, and just talked that out, because I really did have to talk that out. And, um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. So, thank you so much if you watched, and I'll talk to you guys later.